Hi folks, this is all the fruit and yesterday I bought two very different mangoes. This here is the canned mango from Peru, pre-ripened. Well, this here is the canned mango from Peru, ready to eat. <laughs> Which basically means the same. Pre-ripened means you can already eat it. Ready to eat obviously means it's ready to eat. You can eat it. The big difference between those two mangoes is this here was allowed to ripen on the tree, then was packed into an airplane and brought to Europe ASAP. Well, this one was obviously picked quite unripe and had to do the roundabout tour through the Panama Channel and everything, which probably took him a couple weeks to arrive here. Well, they look pretty different. This one is soft, but still green. This one is also soft, but with a much nicer color. I don't know if there are several different sub-varieties of Kent, or if they developed a wonderful a reddish yellowish color only when they ripen on the tree because this one here is completely underripe. This one I bought in a cheap supermarket for about a euro 80. Well, this one I bought in an expensive supermarket for the surprisingly cheap price of three euro. Usually, those mangoes which come here by airplane are a lot more expensive. This one was. Very cheap actually for the size and for having arrived here by airplane. I mean, if you look at them, it's a little bit bigger than this one. And it's less, less than twice as expensive, despite being ripened on the tree. Oh, I should have removed those labels before I washed them, but I wanted you to see the labels too. Well, let's see what they smell like. First, this one, which was picked under I... Yeah, there is this slight mango smell, which I learned to associate with canned mangoes. Hmm. Here it's stronger, definitely. But we don't buy them for the smell, we buy them for the taste, right? So let's test the taste. Oh, come on. So, first the cheaper mango, which was picked under ripe, arrived here by ship. But now it yeah, it's soft, so it should be ripe. Hmm. Well, maybe not a hundred percent ripe. The texture is a bit rubbery. It has a lot of sourness and a decent amount of sweetness. It also a hint of mango flavor. Yeah, this is basically the standard mango I eat around this time of year. Couple mangoes a week and two thirds of them are those medium priced canned mangoes. Now let's try this slightly more expensive canned mango, which was allowed to ripen on the tree and then Traveled to Europe in an airplane. Mm. Much nicer smell when you smell it after you cut it. Mm. Definitely better. Well, first I have to say the color of this one is almost orange, but my phone doesn't like orange. But the taste. Definitely sweeter. A little bit less sour. 
Mm. The texture is also a lot more pleasant. Texture is like a decent mango and not like rubber. Yeah, there is a little bit more of mango flavor, still not not overwhelming, but it's pretty good. For that price, just for 3 euro, that's quite a good mango. If there wasn't the moral issue of, yeah, eating food which got transported to you by an airplane. Yeah, so in this case I can definitely say, eh, like basically always, it's much better to let the fruit ripen on the tree you'll end up with a much nicer and tastier mango. The price difference is really not such a big deal. 3 euro for a tree ripened mango that came to you by airplane is really not too much. Just those climate change issues, that's my only problem with this one. But taste-wise, this one is definitely very good. Well, this one is still decent. Okay, folks, those were two very different canned mangoes. Stay tuned for more fruit videos from the shops and supermarkets of Germany. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.